What's up guys, my name is Azrael Eternity and welcome back to the Mind Sanity server. Um, it is episode 7 of season 2 with the new map. New map. And last episode we prepared our sort of starter house for the adventure map. And in between I went out hunting for some cattle. Um, because we are in need of supplies. You and you and you and you. Uh, you and you and you and you and you and you. And whoever, who hasn't? Somebody hasn't. You? Uh, we're trying to get a bunch of supplies for to put into our chests and everything. Uh, basically is the easiest way to put it. Um, we killed off all of our chickens and put in new ones. So there's only one chicken in there. Uh, he's only laid one egg since we emptied it out. Uh, but I wanted to get started on some new farms. Uh, so I was starting to dig away here. And no, I didn't hear anything. It wasn't anything like that. Uh, I started digging away here because I wanted to start a, a wheat farm at the least. We're going to go one, two, three, four in just in case I need to do some wiring or anything like that on the side. Uh, I got plenty of room without disrupting anything. Um, actually, I probably should grab torches and... I'm um, gonna make this three high because I hate having it be right at head height. Uh, let's go get some torches. Uh, the planned farms are gonna be wheat, potato, carrot. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have any sort of big nether wart farm simply because I already have a bunch. Um, let's see. I have all that nether wart, and then I think I had more that I dumped in someplace else. Oh, I think I dumped it in there. Anyways, I got a whole ton of nether wart. That's really bothering me that I. Anyways, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of nether wart. And. Uh, what was it? Oh, torches. That's right. Um, oh, there's a torch. Oh, that's right, because I... <laughs> okay. Um, I'm probably going to end up using... Redstone lamps, glowstone in there. But for now, we're going to use... All of that. Okay, so we'll put those there, and then we'll put a torch there. Now the question is, is do I want to make some sort of like... I mean, I probably should make some sort of like automated collection that I can just flip the lever and walk away. Um, I don't know... I don't think that I want to do it with a timer, because uh, timers can be messy, and sometimes they can be fairly inaccurate. Um, the size that I'm digging this is arbitrary. I haven't really figured out any sort of design in advance. Um, I'm not exactly a, known for being hugely prepared. Um, so that is currently six wide. Let's go two more at least. I'm getting right to the end of this pick, unfortunately. Uh, how far back is this? Three, four, five, six. So I'm, I'm, I'm almost at the point where I could do the typical piston uh, 
water flow, where there's pistons that retract and release water and it pushes it all forward. Which those are fairly easy and efficient. Um, there goes my shovel. Fairly efficient, fairly effective. Okay, so at present, uh, this is eight, an eight by eight space uh, with a two pathway, and I have no idea what I want to put in here as far as what type of farm. Uh, part of me just says G just to do the simple, um, but part of me wants to make something that's, you know, not. But then again, it, like, <sighs> all this is is put for a resupply, so we probably should just put just pistons. Um, so we'll break this. I know this back one could be whatever it wants, but... Um, I don't think we're going to bother with any sort of hoppers, or do we want to? No. Okay, let's... I'm going to laugh because I think I have exactly enough dirt to fill all of this. Yep. Okay. So if that's going to be the case, then we're going to have a lever here that's going to send the signal back to release the pistons. Uh, that way it's not in view. I'm not going to do any sort of tiered thing. Um, I might end up doing the same sort of thing facing this way. Um... But, I don't know. Uh... Give me a second to figure it out, and I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so what I've decided on is going to be the traditional uh, piston operated. I forgot to get a shovel. <laughs> Let's do that over. And pull those in. I suppose I could just make one. Four, two. <clears throat> All right, guys, welcome back. And it looks like I think we're gonna need the <laughs> failure. <sighs> All right, guys, welcome back. And I think what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna do just the regular uh, piston sort of operated thing, you know, piston piston operated machine and we're going to set up uh, that there. I guess I don't really need those. Um, what I do need is I need that, 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 and that. Oh, I got it first try. I never get it first try. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pistons. Uh, that we are going to set up right here. Bump, 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 bump. That is not where that's supposed to go. 
Thank you for trying. Please play again. And we're going to have our lever be here. So we're going to dig out back behind it here. And shovel. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and dig out to my head height. Alright, so back behind here there is going to be water blocks. Amazing use of ice, just by the way. Uh, and then down here, we're going to do the same thing. We have two things of water. And then down here, two more. Uh, and these two are just to keep our crops irrigated, uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, and we're not going to bother trying to make this pretty or anything. We just want to make sure to not have any issues with that. Um, I want a hoe. Don't we all? Alright. And somewhere... Oh, because that, that one has to... Along the back here, we are going to want not these lights, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to want, and here's a pro tip aim at the lit roof. If you have trouble placing redstone on top of objects so you don't have to jump up and down all the time. I do want a torch in here, and in here, and probably about there. I'm going to want a torch to invert. So those guys go down. And I'm going to want a block there. And that's going to be our lever. Perfect. Alright, so let's fill the rest of the dirt in. And hoe it. And I do want to put a torch up there. And we want to have torches relatively above, just so that all of this has, you know, a block lighting uh, high enough to sustain crops all of the time. Uh, and we'll start with, we're going to have like some multiple crops here, mostly because I don't have very many carrots left. <laughs> um, but for now, I mean, I'm not going to be making a whole bunch of stuff, so this will probably be sufficient for the things that I need. I mostly just need carrots. I have two stacks of potatoes right now and probably a couple stacks of wheat. So carrots are my main focus, just so I can breed more of those pigs. And all my chickens are done. They've been done. And they're popping, pumping out eggs. Good. So they will supply for the next round. And while we're here, might as well go breed the cows. Uh, we're breeding the cows for leather primarily. Not so much for the food, mostly for the leather. Okay, you guys are all bred. Yeah, there's an odd number of cows at the moment, so we'll let that go. Uh, trying to think of what other stuff we can work on. Uh, we probably should get more farms going. Uh, probably should do a reed farm, which would be real simple. 
Um, I don't think that I have any jungle wood, so I wouldn't be able to do uh, cocoa beans, but I have plenty of cocoa beans. Uh, pumpkin and melon, yeah, that would probably be a good idea. So uh, let me magically transform, and I'll be right back to be prepared to make pumpkin and melon farms. And sugarcane. Yeah. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, it's been a little bit of time, but we're ready to go ahead and start digging this out. And now that I'm down here, I'm noticing <laughs> my shovel's about to break. Don't you just love it when that happens? Thankfully, I do have some wood on me, and I have an iron... A piece of iron that I can use to make a new shovel. Hooray, forethought. Alright, so I was trying to figure out what sort of design I wanted to use. Because um, I kind of wanted something that was going to be automatic, be able to catch it all. But I decided that that's not going to be practical. So, what we're going to do is just have a very small piston operated. system and which you press a button the pistons pop up underneath the melons or pumpkins and they drop because that seems like the best I'm not gonna be making this very big but it seems like the best solution uh, I think I only want this to be loud I don't know can't imagine needing a lot of pumpkins, so... <sighs> Part of me thinks that this might be sufficient. What would this be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that seems like it'd be enough. Alright, so let's get all of the stone out of here. We're gonna replace it all with dirt. How did I say this was? Six. Okay. Yeah, that works. Uh, and those two. And dirt, 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 hooray! Okay. Actually, I should have done that differently. Because I'm going to need to do wiring underneath here. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, no, actually I should be able to get this pretty easily. But I'm going to need a lot of repeaters now that I'm thinking of it. There's nothing there. Oop. So let me just shove you right there. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. I have no smooth stone. Let's go ahead and go up, get more supplies. Sleep. Might as well sleep. Unless there's Enderman around. Do I see Enderman? I do not. I see a bat. I have no idea where he came from. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into bed and sleep. Uh, you can see all the stuff that's been going on. I need redstone. We'll take those. Um, I think... Yeah, Banjo used all of my repeaters. We made a... We made a skeleton farm for the bones and arrows. Uh, there happened to be a skeleton spawner almost directly underneath spawn, so that was really cool. So it's kind of uh, neat. It is kind of down a little bit far, so I don't think that uh, you know it's not going to get activated by people walking around on the surface. But oh well, <laughs> get what you get. And frankly, having something that close is pretty stellar. Okay, I came up here for smooth stone, because I need to make 
Uh, repeaters. That is not going to be enough, and I already know it. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay. Two more. Yes. Uh, 24. Yeah, that's probably going to be enough. That should be enough. I hope. <laughs> okay, so if piston goes there, let's go ahead and rip all this out. Let's see here. How are we going to do this? So these are going to be the blocks that... the pistons are standing on. These are all blocks for pistons, and I don't have enough pistons now that I'm looking at it. So that's all the pistons. And I can go ahead and cover these with dirt, because they're not going to... their location's not going to change. that low. Because that's not going to work, I don't think. Let's try it. Oh, snap! These have to be stickies. I just realized that. Okay, so these all... <laughs> I was real prepared. Can you tell? Alright, let's go ahead and break all these guys. I, I was thinking, before I came down here, I was thinking I was doing a different... Uh, uh, different... thing words. I can use them. Yeah, because that's not going to send power all the way through there. So, we're going to have to have... Oh, that that actually does raise a, uh, a big problem, <laughs> then. Um, so how do we power both of these? I've done it before, I'm pretty sure. But I don't remember how. <laughs> I think it had wider space in between. Hmm. I may just need to redo the design and do something else besides this. Um, what can I do instead? I think I might just go with the original one that I was going to be doing instead. Uh, which was a real simple... You know, the hell with automatic harvesting. I, I know that I I wanted that, but well, it would be nice for the melons, but I, I'm not going to be harvesting these that much, 
so I think just having... I don't want this to be that. I want it to be cobble of anything. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just go with that then. Is it weird that I don't like exposed dirt, but I'm okay with exposed cobble? Is that weird? That seems weird. To... Uh, I do not have a hoe, so we'll go ahead and make a hoe. Hoe yo. Okay, one, two, three, four. I think. No, I think I just needed three. Yep, extra. Okay. Three, four. Oh, that one. I wonder if the light was too weak for over here. It's possible. Uh, let me go ahead and put in the glowstone. And here. All right. I know that it's not hydrated. All right, so we'll grow these guys up. split this into three because we only want 12. Bump. Yeah, those aren't lasting. <laughs> there, 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 there. You, you, and plant it. Okay. I'm gonna need more bone meal. Which is okay if we have extra. We can just use on the carrots. Nope. Exactly enough. Okay. There's our farm. Yay! We're going to get rid of the torch. Get rid of the torch. Yay! Not automatic, but whatever. Um, the carrot farm kind of is. But, I mean... Frankly, you don't really need an automatic melon farm or pumpkin farm. They're so simple. Uh, we killed all the chickens um, for experience, <laughs> by the way. That's why it's been so quiet down here. We killed them all. Um, though the cows have been restless. And there's a hole in the wall. I remember doing that. Look at all the cows and the piggies that we have now. Look at them all. Hello, cows and piggies! I'm gonna murder you all eventually! That's not true. I'll just end up moving them underground. <laughs> uh, we did do some caving. We've gotten some resources done. Um, we're gonna be doing the wither and... What's the other one? Dragon! The dragon! We're going to be doing the dragon fight. Uh, so I've been brewing up a bunch of potions. I need to make regen potions. And all that jazz. But, for this episode, that's going to do it. Um, I did a bunch of stuff off camera as far as the mining. I didn't want to bore you guys by doing too many mining episodes. They're nice if they're spare, sparingly. They're they're nice if they're sparingly. Uh, they're nice if they're spread out. But didn't want to do too much caving, so I did a lot of off-camera work. But we got our supplies ready. Um, we have plenty of food, and we're gonna have plenty of leather. Uh, I've been stocking up. I got about a stack and a half of leather, and that's gonna be a lot of books. And we're going to be using, uh, making a lot of leather armor, I'm sure, uh, and doing low-level enchantments on those. But uh, as the night settles, we shall be off. So, 
Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!